Today we're here in the Guru Garage in St. Louis to talk about rotor surface finish. And we want to do a comparison between two different style tool bits. You can see our round tool bit here and also our standard triangular tool bit. My name is Mark Kenyon. I'm a senior instructor here at the Guru Garage. And let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and put our tool bits into our fixture and lock them down. Triangular bit on the inside and we'll put our round bit on the outside. We have them in place, lock the set screws. We can adjust our cutters now. We want to adjust them to where they just touch the surface of the rotor. Lock that. Bring this one in until it just touches on the inside. Center or zero our stops. We'll run the table feed in. Give it two thousandths for our finish cut. Two thousandths on the inside. Now that we've completed our finish cut, we're going to measure the surface and we're going to measure how smooth or how rough it is with a tool called the profilometer. This profilometer uses a small diamond stylus right in the tip to slide across the surface and to give us that reading. So what we'll do is we'll lay that diamond stylus across the inside of the rotor surface and start the process. What we're looking for is somewhere in the 30 to 60 RA range for this application. Notice we're at 90. Not too bad for the triangular bit, but obviously still above what we would want to see for surface finish. So we'll now switch, we'll move to the outside and compare the round bit surface. As I said earlier, we're looking for somewhere between a 30 and 60 RA or micro finish for our specifications. Notice the outside is 50 within our specification. Also, we have not done our non-directional finish, something that would help both of these surface finishes to become smoother. Uh, obviously, the non-directional finish is something that needs to be done before we would actually want to measure the surface, but just for our comparisons, we wanted to do it before we put our non-directional finish on there. 